Venus Williams, 37, will likely debut millionaire boyfriend Nicholas Hammond, 25, that Australian Open as she head over heels in love. Venus Williams has gotten very serious with her millionaire boyfriend Nicholas Hammond. They're so serious, in fact, that the 37-year-old tennis star will most likely debut the handsome 25-year-old businessman at the Australian Open, according to a report from New York Daily News. There has been a lot of talk down under that she planned to make their relationship official this weekend as she feels the timing is right. His name has come up a lot, said a source. Venus was last seen with Nicholas in November in New Orleans, where she attended her sister Serena's splashy wedding to Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian. They held hands as they walked through the city. And according to Page 6, they looked happy at a December dinner in New York City. They were cuddled up the entire time they were inside the restaurant, even kissing while waiting to be seated and continuing the affection at their table, said a source. Hammond is an heir to Walter Otterberg's TV Guide Fortune. He's a wealthy financier who goes between California and New York, said a friend. And sources tell the site he is no gold digger as he has plenty of money of his own. Their 12-year age difference doesn't bother him either. She's head over heels for him, added an insider. And she's very happy. The two have been spending a lot of time together in the past several months. Nikki has met up with Venus in Palm Beach, where his family has a $20 million mansion as well as in the Hamptons where they have a $20 million house, said the source. And it has impressed her that he has not bragged about his relationship with the athlete. She likes that he's very private, said the source. This report comes after news that she will not face any criminal charges in relation to a June fatal traffic accident she was involved in near her Florida residence. The driver of a car that struck Williams SUV in an intersection was also not charged. After Palm Beach Gardens police determined that neither violated the right of way, the Sun Sentinel reported Wednesday. Jerome Mbson, 78, who was a passenger in the sedan that collided with the SUV Williams was driving, died 13 days after the June 9 accident. His wife, Linda Marson, 68, was driving the sedan. In July, video evidence surfaced that showed that Williams entered the intersection lawfully and that a car not involved in the collision forced Williams to stop in the intersection, Palm Beach Gardens police said. After Williams had entered the intersection, the traffic light changed, and the sedan Linda Marson was driving that struck Williams' SUV had a green light. The crash occurred in Palm Beach Gardens, at the intersection of Bally Nissels Drive and North Lake Boulevard. Police had initially said Williams was to blame for failing to yield the right of way. At the time, Williams told police she was trying to get across the junction but traffic was backed up and she had to slow down to a crawl, leaving her stranded in the middle of the junction, according to TMZ. The late Jerome Mbson was initially hospitalized for serious head injuries after the crash. Linda Marson was taken to hospital with injuries including a cracked sternum and multiple broken bones. The photos from the crash scene show the Barson's vehicle crashed on the side of the road with the front of the 2016 Hyundai Accent completely crumpled in on itself. The airbags appear to have deployed in the front, and the back windows are shattered. A spokesman for the Marson family told the Daily Mail in June, the amount of pain the family is feeling right now is enormous. At the time of the accident, Williams' attorney, Malcolm Cunningham reiterated that the tennis champion entered the intersection on a green light. The police report estimates the MS. Williams was traveling at 5 miles per hour when Mrs. Barson crashed into her. Authorities did not issue MS. Williams with any citations or traffic violations, he said. This is an unfortunate accident and Venus expresses her deepest condolences to the family who lost a loved one, Cunningham added, also in June. The Barson family has filed a wrongful death suit against Williams, which is still pending in Palm Beach County. The suit asked for unspecified damages for loss of companionship for both Linda Marson and their family, loss of earnings, pain and suffering, and medical and funeral expenses. The couple were married for more than 33 years and the lawsuit said Jerome Marson died on his 68th birthday. Calls to attorneys for both parties were not immediately returned on Wednesday evening.